G'day everyone, welcome back. If uh, you watched the last episode, uh, you'll know that this is filmed on the same day as I ended the last episode. So I have a bloke coming out today to scrape the hull of Kiara and we're going to take it out for, for a run. See if we get any improvements in performance. So stick around. Alright, so the guy's not here yet to do the hull, but um, I stayed on the boat last night and we had a considerable amount of rain. We flogged down pretty much all night. And just thought I'd share, that's how much water's in the bilge. So this is more or less the lowest part. And you're talking, I don't know, there's a splash in the bottom. Like, realistically, yeah. That's pretty good, considering how much rain we had. And it was, it was dry uh, when I got on board yesterday. Um, oh, more or less, there was essentially nothing in it. So, yeah, I just thought I'd share that with you, and um, we'll wait for old mate to turn up, and we'll get some holes cleaned. Right, so the boys are here. Um, we got Will and Brendan from... Lake Macquarie Marine Maintenance <laughs> yeah. and Diving. Yeah, I'm glad you remembered. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, so they were kind enough to come out, and um, we're going to scrape the hull of the old girl, and see if we can get a bit more speed out of it. But... Yeah, get it gliding through the water a bit better. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, how long do you reckon it take to do a boat this big? Uh, what is it, 34 foot? You'd be looking about an hour, yeah. an hour and a half. Yeah. Fair enough. But, um, right. yeah, we'll clean all the skin fittings and um, sink fittings and all that sort of stuff so everything will flow properly. And yeah, yeah, awesome. Give the old uh, prop and rudder a clean. And yeah. I did the prop the other week. Um, I'll put a link to the video of that if you if you didn't see it. The, the prop was pretty ordinary. So, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, and there was lots of comments saying, well, if the prop's that bad, the hole's probably ordinary too. So Yeah, it'd be cavitating. And, yeah, yeah, it was It was pretty bad. So, All right, well, we'll let them get to, get to their business. And, um, yeah, we're going to try and get a bit of footage of what you're doing. And yep. Awesome. Well, we'll put it up and we'll catch up with them when they get out of the water.
Right, uh, so all good, all done. All done, mate. Yeah, nice and clean. Should get through the water a bit better now. So uh, had a fair bit of growth on it, like a lot of shell and. Yeah. Okay. So uh, it was pretty ordinary. Definitely need to do yeah, it. Yeah. Yeah. Definitely. Enough. Yeah. A bit overdue. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Usually about every three to four months is good. Okay. Yeah, yeah. As soon as you start to see a bit of shell growing, that's the best time to do it, so it doesn't take your annie fowl off. Yeah, fair enough. We that can uh, usually get about three to four years out of the one annie fowl that way. It saves you a lot in the long run. Save a bit of money. So the yeah. hole looked in pretty decent condition under there. Nothing, yeah, nothing yeah. scary going on. Well, normally when you're scraping, you can hear soft spots in timber and stuff from the sound under the water, but yeah. um, it sounds really solid. I yeah, couldn't good. hear any soft spots at all in there. Yep. Uh, no, it's in really good condition, just a little bit thin on the antifoul, that's all. Yeah, well, it's alright, should be coming out and getting done soon, so. Yeah, perfect. Alright, well, um, thank you very much, I appreciate it. Yeah, no worries, and, uh, Tim, awesome. Yeah. If anybody wants any work done around the lake, how do they, how do they get a hold of you? Uh, it's Lake Macquarie Marine Maintenance and Diving, and the number is uh, 0405 289 630. And uh, yeah, we do all of uh, Lake Macquarie and Newcastle. Yeah, right, okay. Yeah. Awesome. No All worries. Right. Thank you very much again. All right, well, truth be told, we're actually the following weekend from when they scraped the hole. I just ran out of time. I wasn't able to get the boat to run. But we're back now, and it's another nice day. So it gives me an opportunity to do another cold start. Um, so we just got on. One pump on the accelerator pump. And about half was about where it wanted to. So we'll see what happens. <laughs> get it off the uh, off the mooring and then we'll go for a run and we'll see what our speed change is. Alright well I'm not disappointed with the way the boat feels it definitely feels better in the water. I haven't really picked up any speed though. So uh, 3000 rpm I'm still bouncing around sort of seven, seven and a half. So oh yeah seven. So realistically I don't think I picked up any speed at cruise. But, you might not be able to hear me, I'll take it wide open and we'll see if we got any more top end.
Right, uh, well, that didn't quite go according to plan. Um, boat feels better to drive. That is a fan belt. Well, more, more precise, it's a water pump and alternator belt. It decided it was going to let go in the middle of Lake Macquarie. Um, I should have had a spare on board, I didn't. Um, I got in the tinny, luckily we weren't too far from, from uh, Coal Point. Uh, basically we dropped anchor, I jumped in the tinny, cruised across. Fantastic person on the shore by the name of Brett gave me a run into Toronto. Got a new belt. If you ever come across this, thank you very much. You, you're a lifesaver, I really appreciate it. So anyway, goes to show. Always keep spares on board. You know, anyway, could have been worse. It wasn't, and the engine's running good now. So we didn't pick up as much speed as I thought, but the boat feels really nice to drive. So I suppose that's where we are. What I am gonna do in a very short episode coming up is I've got a couple of different props lying around, and we're gonna do a bit of a prop change and see if we improve. So stick around for that. Um, really appreciate all the support, subs, comments, everything. Um, so keep it up. Um, if you haven't subscribed, please do so. Turn your notifications on. There's plenty more content to come. So we'll catch you on the next one.